Hi, I'm Claire from Inspiratrix Yoga. This simple session is like, it's like an easy warm up session. It'd be great in the morning to get you moving. Start lying on your back on the floor with your hands just below the belly button, breathing into your center. Noticing as you breathe, how your body is right now. Whether you feel awake or sleepy. Whether you feel tired or, or well rested. whether there's any areas of, of tension or pain in your body today. Just lying down, breathing, feeling. And noticing your breath itself, whether you're breathing deeply, whether your breath is shallow, whether your breath feels long or short. Whether your breath feels smooth or jagged. Cat exercise one, rest your hands on the, on the floor now and your knees are bent, great. Focusing on your lower back. When you breathe in, you'll be increasing the curve in the lower back. And then when you breathe out, you'll be relaxing the curve in your lower back. So as you inhale, the hips stay on the floor, the shoulders stay on the floor, but the gap between the lower back and the floor increases. Then as you exhale, relax all of that. And the lower back will drop towards the floor. Doesn't necessarily have to go all the way down to the floor and you're not pushing it down. It's more of a sort of relaxing action. So inhale, make more arch in your lower back. Exhale, very slowly release that. Slowly as you can. Do that a few more times, as slowly as possible, really paying attention to, to your body and to your lower back as you do this. Just moving within the range of movement that's comfortable, rather than necessarily the maximum movement you could make. Then let's finish off that movement and then stay with your deep breath, but breathe without doing that movement. Just observing how your lower back feels right now. That's exercise two. Clasp your hands together behind the head and interlace the fingers together behind the head. Inhale and arch the lower back as you did before. 
Exhale, relax the lower back. Lift your head and shoulders slowly up off the floor. Elbows moving in the direction of the knees. Inhale, slowly bring the head and shoulders down to the floor. Exhale, relax the elbows down if that feels comfortable to do so. We could stay pointing up if it doesn't feel comfortable to bring the elbows down. So that's that sequence. Inhale, arch in the lower back. Exhale, relax the lower back. Contract your front body, lift your head and shoulders up. Inhale, slowly release out of that. Exhale, relaxing, maybe letting the elbows come down. Continuing in that pattern now. Doing this in a way that feels comfortable in your body, really paying attention to your body. Noticing which parts are working, which parts are relaxing, which areas you're, you're waking up bit by bit. Let that be the last round. And then after that, bring your hands somewhere comfortable. And let's roll onto the side now to do, um, no, let's roll onto the front to do cat exercise three. So, so coming all the way onto your, onto your front, uh, take, turn your head to the right and have your right elbow sort of up in front of your face. Back of the, back of the, back of the right hand is underneath your cheek. The palm of the hand is on the floor. And the left hand could just be somewhere near the hip. So the, so the right, right arm is sort of um, up with the, with the hand underneath the head, left arm is near the hip. So there's, a, there's an arm and a leg movement with this. Let's do, do them separately to begin with. So let's focus on the leg to begin with. Inhale, lift the left leg up, keeping the leg straight, a little bit like a half boat. Exhale, slowly lower the left leg down. Again, doing this only as far as feels comfortable. So on the inhale, the leg would be lifting. Exhale, leg would be lowering. And then the, the, the upper body movement is on the inhale, lifting the chest, lifting the right arm, lifting the head. Only as far as it's comfortable. And if it's not comfortable, just visualize it. Exhale, slowly lower the head down to the floor. So on the inhale, the, the head is lifting, the arms lifting, the chest might be lifting a little bit. Exhale, slowly lowering down. So we can put those two things together. So this is the right arm and the left leg. Inhale, lifting the leg, lifting the arm. Noticing how the, your back body is contracting. Exhale, slowly return the arm and the leg back down to the floor. Do two more on that side as slowly as you can. Just one leg at a time. You're doing the opposite leg to the arm here. And once you finish that one, switch around to the other side. So, so turn your head to the left, have the, have the, Back of the left hand underneath your right cheek. Palm of the left hand is on the floor. Right arm could just be on the floor next to your right hip. Let's put this together straight away now. So inhale, lift the right leg, lift the left arm. Exhale, slowly lowering both those down to the floor. So inhale, contracting in your back body, lifting up. 
Exhale, releasing in the back body, slowly lowering down. Do three more now, as slowly as you can. Noticing if this side feels different to the other. The head sort of stays resting on the hand. It's not sort of lifting up off the hand. This is, this is less about, this is not so much about the neck. It's more about the kind of muscles, uh, muscles of the back and alongside the spine. So it's kind of a great place to strengthen them. Once you've finished the, the round you're on, let's roll onto the back for the next one. Take a couple of resting breaths on your back. Really noticing your back and your core as you do these simple, simple movements to, to switch on the muscles and, and wake up different parts of yourself this morning. Next, we'll do cat exercise four, which I always think of as kind of waking up crossways across the, the front of the torso. It's like the oblique muscles uh, we'll, we'll get involved with this. So it's kind of like a on the front, front of the body crossways. Let's start with the right hand behind the head. So hand resting in the right hand. So head resting in the right hand, both knees bent, and then you'll be, you'll be lifting up your head and right elbow and your, and your left, left knee. But let's do this with a, with a, with a breath sequence. So inhale and arch your lower back as you did right at the start. Making more space between the lower back and the floor. Exhale, relax the lower back. Contract across your front broad body. Lift your head and right arm. Lift your left knee up. Inhale, very slowly bring the foot and the head down to the floor. Exhale, re relax and bring the elbow down to the floor if that feels good. So inhale, arch, low back. Exhale, relax lower back, lift the head and right elbow, lift the left knee. Not forcing or straining, noticing if you are coming back off that edge. Inhale, slowly lowering down. Exhaling and relaxing. So do a couple more rounds like that, nice and slowly. Noticing which which parts of you are, are switching on to make this movement happen? Just noticing that from inside. Okay, let that be the, the last one. Just taking your time with it. And then do the other sides, have the left hand behind the head, head resting in the left hand. Inhale, arch lower back, exhale, lifting up, inhale, coming down, exhale, relaxing. As slowly as you can. If you're up for a challenge, bring the head and the foot down to the floor at the same time. Yeah, it takes a lot of control. If you're tugging on your head, could you do that a little less? Okay, just do one more round. 
And then come into your resting position after that. Once you're resting, just noticing the after effects of each, each movement. Making these connections internally. I just think these, these somatic exercises are kind of about getting us tuned into the, the basic movements that we need in order to move through the world. So whatever you're going to be doing later on, whether it's walking or gardening or washing up or working, or driving kind of connecting connecting inside so that so that whatever you're doing your your core is at the center of that in fact if you rest your fingertips just below your belly button and and connect your breath with that center there Come into this position where you're lying on the back with the knees bent again. And then take the arms out so that the arms are at right angles to the rest of you. Um, great. So the way this one goes is inhale, turn your head to the right, turn your right palm up, turn your left palm down and take your knees to the left. Exhale, bring everything back to the middle. Inhale, turn your head to the left. Turn your left palm up, right palm down, and knees are going to the right. Exhale back to the middle. And continue in that pattern. You can kind of play with a, a sense of the shoulder blades sort of moving up and down as the palm is going up, like the shoulder blade could go down a bit. And then when the palm is rotating downwards then the shoulder blade might roll up a little bit. Just feeling if there's that, if that you can play with some shoulder blade movement here. For the next few rounds, do this as slowly and in as much of a controlled way as you can. So not flopping, just slowly easing from one side to the other. Really paying attention to whichever parts of you feel like they're working and waking up right now. Again, staying within what the movement is comfortable. So not feeling like your knees have to go to the floor. If that, if that does not feel comfortable in any way, just you could be doing even less of a twist with the knees, but kind of being really slow, really controlled, really smooth in the movement. Okay, you finish off with that and then come into a, a resting position. Perhaps rest you and perhaps rest the fingertips just below the belly button again, connecting your breath with your center. It's waking up, waking up your body. Waking up the different corners of your being. And 
Next, we'll do some um, hands and knees abdominals, well, the, the slidey foot one. So um, I think I've done this in a few classes recently, so you've probably done this before. Um, but we'll start in a hands and knees position. Inhale, slide the left foot back along the floor. Exhale, connect to your core and slowly bring the left knee back to where it was. Let's stay on this side. Just noticing which parts of you are working to do this movement. So inhale, sliding the, the, the foot away. Which parts of your leg and core are working? Exhale, sliding the leg back in. Doing that two more times on that side. Sliding the left foot back. And then back in. And then switch to the other side. Same thing on the right leg. So inhale, sliding the foot back. Exhale, sliding the foot back in. Staying quite stable with your hips, with the rest of your spine as you do this movement. So you're not doing it through momentum. It's kind of bits of the legs and bits of the core are, are supporting this movement. Okay, let's, let's give the wrists a, a rest. Come into a, a kneeling position if that's comfortable. If kneeling is not comfortable, just sit, 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 sit in a cross-legged position. Either's fine. And then interlace the hands together and do some, whichever position you're sat in, doesn't matter. And then do some wibbly wobbly movements with the, with the wrists and the hands. Nice slow wibbly wobbly movements, just exploring the exploring the space around you with your hands. Feeling for getting some rotations into the wrists as well. Okay. And then let's come back on the hands and knees to do a, a quadruped, a, a micro twisting quadruped. So back into a hands and knees position. Again, this is sequence with the breath here. So inhale and slightly twist your ribs to the right, lift your right, hip, right hand a tiny bit off the floor. Exhale and maybe lift the left knee a tiny bit off the floor as well. So it's a, again, it's a crossways cross movement. Bring the hand and knee to the floor. Let's go to the other side. Inhale, lift the left hand an inch off the floor. Slightly rotate your ribs to the left. Exhale, lift the right knee off the floor. Only a tiny bit though. Hips are staying pretty stable. Hand and knee to the floor. Inhale, turn the ribs to the right. Right hand lifts a tiny bit. Exhale, opposite leg. And a knee to the floor. Keep going in that pattern. So it's sort of doing the hand on the the hand on the inhale and the leg on the exhale. Keeping this a really small movement because again, this is about this subtle connection in the core. Micro twisting quadrupeds. <laughs> Do one more on either side. And then after that, come into child's pose if it's comfortable, or come into come onto your back with your knees into the chest. Keep working with your breath here. 
connecting your breath into your center. Allow you this, allow yourself this time in this class this morning to kind of go in, to go inwards and connect with yourself. Whatever the weather is like internally, before you go out into the world after this class. All right, let's ease out of this now. Uh, and we'll do some really slow sun salutations. So you might need an extra blanket or cushion to pad your knee. All right, start by standing at one end of your mat, have an extra cushion or blanket nearby if you need. Have your feet parallel and hip distance apart. And then make your feet active. And then take your hands onto your hips and with your eyes closed, if that feels comfortable, take your center of gravity forwards and backwards a little. So your weight can be balanced somewhere between the, the balls of the feet and the heels of the feet. So you're not all slumped backwards, not all slumped forwards. Let's play with some arm movements here. So inhale, take the arms forward as far as is comfortable. Notice what, what's working in the arms for that to happen. Exhale, slowly lower the arms. So sort of a letting go that has to happen for the arms to come, come down. So on the inhale, that something has to happen. There's kind of a contraction and effort to lift the arms. On the exhale, you can slowly let go of that effort as the arms come down. Do that two more times. Again, really slowly. Keeping the, keeping the feet and legs active. And then we'll come into a forward bend. So relax the arms, bend your knees and come into a forward bend. If coming into a deep forward bend does not feel good for you, keep your, your hands on your thighs. If coming deeper feels fine, then you could relax the hands down in the direction of the floor. Also letting the head relax forward if that feels appropriate. Lunge with the left leg back. So from here, step your left leg back as far as you can. And then you'll be bringing your left knee down to the floor so that you end up in a lunge position. So that's where you might need to put something underneath the, the left knee. And let's hang out in this lunge. Bring your, bring your hips forward a little so you feel an opening on the front of the left thigh. And you could either do this with the top of the left foot on the floor or curling the left toes under. Either be fine right now. Take your hands on your hips and focus on your legs here. Press down into your points of contact with the floor. Feel for lifting up slightly through the whole of the rib cage. So there's a sort of length that comes to the front body, kind of the front of the left thigh, the front of your torso, quite long. Head is just balanced on top. Next, we'll come into plank. You could do plank with the knees up or plank with the knees down, up to you. So step your right foot back, maybe move the cushion out of the way, and then set up in plank, either, with the, either doing a mini plank with the knees down, or you could have the, the knees lifted up, whatever feels 
Let's just stay here for a couple of breaths, connecting to your core, feeling for your core being part of this. And then we'll come down onto the, onto the belly. So if you keep bending your elbows here and you lower forwards, come all the way down onto the floor, onto your belly. And then end up flat on the, flat on the floor, on your belly. Take your hands about six inches in front of your shoulders to do cobra. Let's come in and out of cobra actually. So, the legs are quite strong and stable. You slightly press the legs down into the floor. And then on an inhale, let's lift the chest up away from the floor, only as far as is comfortable. Exhale very slowly, lower back down to the floor. So coming in and out of a cobra. So inhaling, lifting the chest up away from the floor. Keep pressing the tops of the feet into the floor. Exhale, slowly lowering down. Do a couple more like that. Noticing what muscles are, are working to this. I'd rather you're using kind of like back muscles rather than arm muscles, if that, if that makes sense. Because it's great to strengthen the back muscles. Okay, and then once you finish with that, either come straight up into downward facing dog, or make your way back onto your hands and hands and knees. So either hands and knees or downward facing dog. And then from here, we'll come into lunge on the other side. So step your left foot forward, sort of to where your left hand was, lift your torso up, and this should be lunge on the other side. Make sure the left leg, left foot is far enough forwards that you can balance. Okay, and then let's take the hands on the hips. Take the hips forwards a little. Inhale, expand and lift your ribs. Exhale, connect down through the places that you contact the floor. Hanging out in lunge. Okay, now you'll come into a forward bend. So your right foot needs to come forwards and either come into a forward bend with your hands on your thighs or with your arms relaxing down towards the floor, whatever feels good for you. Inhale, walk your hands up, your legs come up to standing. Exhale, take your hands on your hips and bring your weight so that it's midway between the balls of your feet and your heels. So, so come forwards and backwards a little bit. And see if you can feel where, where would the middle point be? And that might feel like your legs are doing slightly more work than usual, that's okay. And then let's do some sideways movement with the arms. So keeping the legs really stable. Inhale, take the arms out to the side only as far as feels comfortable. Exhale, slowly release that movement, letting the hands come down. So inhale, lifting the arms, noticing what has to work for that to happen. Exhale, slowly releasing the effort in your arms as they lower down. Do two more, just moving within the range of movement that's comfortable. You, you might be going further than me, you might be going less far than me, that's totally fine. Great. 
Great. Now relax your arms, relax your legs. Um, so let's do just a really floppy twist. So keep me that some sense of groundedness through the legs. Let's do some kind of rotations from side to side, having the arms floppy. There's like a Tai Chi thing people do sometimes where it's like that one arm kind of goes behind and taps the kidney. Okay. Or taps both one or both kidneys. So if that feels fun and your, and your arms don't mind doing that, you could give that a go. Just lightly tapping your kidney with like the back of the uh, back of the hand, back of the forearm. Okay. And then let's do um, slug asana, which is where you turn into a slug. You lose, you, you, you imagine you've got no bones and you're just going to melt down to the floor like a pile of, like a pile of butter. So do this in a way that feels controlled and safe. There's, you could come down any way you like, basically, but just allowing yourself now to melt. If all the bones in your body were melting, how would you, how would you melt down to the floor? any way you want to come down really so that you land on the floor and eventually you're going to come onto your back to rest so making your way down onto the floor really with the help of gravity and then setting yourself up for shavasana so any any shavasana props you need taking those making your way into a resting position now Letting yourself land onto the floor. After all that activity and tuning in and feeling and waking things up and switching things on. Now allowing yourself a, a, a time of pause, a time of rest, a time of stillness. So that, so that you can have that cycle of being an activity and then being in rest before you move on to activity again. Not skipping the rest time. Next time you exhale, let go of this class. Next time you exhale, let go of the whole of the week just gone. Next time you exhale, let go of any busy thoughts that want to distract you. Next time you exhale, let go of any places of tension or holding. Next time you exhale, let go of any fear, worry, or stress. And as you rest, if anything comes to disturb that rest, with your exhale, just let it go. Knowing you can pick up all these things in good time. But this is just a time to breathe out, to let go, and to be in rest.
If you want to stay resting on the floor for longer, feel free to stay resting on the floor for longer. If you know you want to shift onto, shift into and onto more movement, then start to bring some small movements to your hands and feet first. Deepen your breath. And then bend your knees, bring them into your chest and rock from side to side on your lower back. And then eventually roll onto one side and sit back up. So thank you for joining me today for this easy warm up session. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, and I'll see you another time soon.